I want to show you this timing relay that I bought for a project that I'm doing and I need it to, uh, it's a stock feeder. And so once it has fed them, I don't want it to be able to do it again until roughly 24 hours later. So, uh, it, and it runs off a photo cell. And so that way, if for some reason the photo cell triggered three or four times a day, it would only feed them one time a day. So I want to show you how this thing works. It's kind of interesting. It's a DH 48S-S, -S, and let me turn it on and it's gonna start working. Whenever it gets power, it starts starts working. And so what it's doing now, it's set to seconds. And so it comes on and it counts. Let me change that a little longer. It comes on and it counts the number of seconds that you have set here. Now it'll do, it'll do seconds, it'll do, uh, what is that? Tenths of a minute, it'll do minutes, it'll do tenths of an hour, that's seconds again, hour, full hours, minutes, hours, seconds, tenths of a second, you know, what's weird, okay, tenths of an hour, hours, yeah. So it'll do seconds, tenths of a second, minutes, tenths of a minute, hours, tenths of an hour. And you've got two digits there. So I guess the maximum will be 99 hours and the uh, minimum would be uh, one tenth of a second. So anyway, the way it, and then what you do is, let me put that to seconds. What it's doing is, is it's, it's, once you change this, you have to reset it. So let me unplug it, plug it back in. So as soon as it comes on, it starts counting. And so once it gets to what you've preset it, it flips the state of the relay. So if you're using the normally open or the normally closed contact, it flips it to the other side of the relay. So it'll stay in this state for five seconds and then it stays in this state for seven seconds. Now it has a, uh, you can reset it midstream. So if I take, the, this is just set to the reset. And so now I'm over here in the second part and I can say, okay, no, I want it to go back to the beginning. And when you're in this one, you can say, no, I want it to go back to the beginning. I want to reset it and you can just reset it at any point you want and it's gonna come back and start in this beginning state every single time. Now it also has um, one that it calls the gate and what it does is, is when you touch, when you close the gate like that, um, what it does is it locks it. So if it's going, if it's counting up to 10, it gets one, two, three, four and you close the gate, it just holds it at four until you let it off and then it'll count as long as it wants to until you hold the gate again and then it stops it. It doesn't clear, it doesn't reset it. It just stops it in whatever uh, at whatever point you touch that contact together. Anyway, this, this is gonna help me in the project that I'm doing. Um, I'm using it to, uh, I'm us using it for a stock feeder and so making sure that it's only feeding my uh, my goats one time a day. But so this would be really useful for things like, you know, you wanna, aerate a pond for a certain number of hours a day or you want it to you want to do something have something uh, get watered for an hour and then off for two hours and then back on and anyway anytime you need something to kind of go off and on or something like that and I'm like I said I'm using it to lock out so it'll run the uh, the auger and then after it has done it it locks it out for like however long I tell it to. And then it'll open up and let it let it do it for a period of time and then turn itself off. So anyway, I thought this was interesting, thought it might be useful to you. Thank you for watching.